So these guys just need to keep getting experience. Stenberg and Norikatsu Saikawa. And a bad shot attempt, and Sakawa is quickly going to counter, snap and spin, take a 1-0 lead. So what can we look forward to from the Greco program here this year and then moving toward 2012? What are some things that the fans back home can keep an eye on and pay attention to and be aware of? In Greco and in this country, we still have our work cut out for us. We've got a lot of work we've got to do. We've got a lot of improvement we've got to make. But uh, the one thing you can count on with the Greco program the Greco wrestlers and the Greco coaches is is they're all very much committed to to be the best in the world and uh, we win in our world title in 2007 we are very uh, unhappy with the last two uh, the Olympic performance and the world performance so we're itching to get back on top it's going to take a lot of hard work a lot of dedication by everybody but uh, I'm totally uh, confident and believe that we can do it so that's what I think people can look for good success in the future. 4-0 now for Norikatsu Sayakawa of Japan over Mark Stenberg. Now one thing that we've talked about was that world championship, but that was a world championship won without a reigning world champion, and now that aforementioned world champion Joe Warren is back on the mat. So what are your thoughts about Joe coming back? Very happy about Joe coming back. Um, he wasn't happy with, with his performance today in his first two matches. Obviously he's very competitive. But he needs matches. He's he's been off of wrestling for two and a half years. He you know he can't expect to just jump in there and kick everybody's butt again. It's, he's rusty a little bit, but but what Joe has is so great. And what that is is he's got that that energy, that drive, that 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 focus and um, tough attitude. He's aggressive. A lot of people coming in here to watch to check out what's going on. Not a huge event in terms of the draw, but a lot of people just kind of walked in and said, what's going on in here? Hey, this is Greco-Roman Wrestling. Was that somebody from Japan? Yeah. <laughs> By the way, what do you think of these jackets that the Japanese and the Chinese got? Those things are jealous. Sharp. I'm jealous. Yeah, well, I was talking to, we were talking to Dan Chandler about it, and he goes, he goes yeah, the, you, you're born with one of those in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah. Japanese uh, team is a strong team, pretty strong team here today in this. It's like Stenberg's got a cut that they're addressing right now. And zooming in on Sean Lewis over there. And there's Anatoly on screen. There's Mo Mir. So you, Very, Mo, Moen doing the, the camera work here. Yeah, Mo Mir and Anatoly, of course, the, the heart of our Greco program. Sean Lewis, with, with you know, head coach of the Army team. Rob Herman's over there. That's another great thing about Greco. We got a lot of dedicated coaches, and and the camaraderie. Even though there's different camps, the, the, oh yeah, the, a lot of different. Uh, I mean, we, they compete against each other as coaches and their athletes do. But when it comes time to uh, come together as a USA team, we're we're all on the same page. I think, and uh, everybody works together in a common cause. So that's a great thing about Greco. Under a minute to go here in the first period. Norikatsu Saikawa of Japan holding a 4-0 lead over Mark's, the young Mark Stenberg, the USOEC. After this bout, we will focus our last two rounds on US-1, which is our WCAP program, the world-class athlete program in Army. We focused on every other team at least for two rounds, and we'll finish it out with USA's number one in terms of not seeding, but just listing here on the schedule. They're listed as the top team in terms of order. Yeah. So that's basically all WCAP wrestlers. What we try to do is put most of the Army guys on Team 1, most of the New York AC guys, Team 2. Team 3 is a, a split between Sunkist and the Minnesota Storm. Minnesota and then Storm. 4 is our developmental athletes. Yeah. So. yeah. so all strong, pretty strong teams, you know. Um, yeah. So it's been kind of fun. We tried to, We wanted to try to get a little bit of the club atmosphere I you know and talking about that and you know I'm sure you've overheard Zeke in the office next to you talking about you know regional training systems and that's something Greco seems to have very well in place with the training site at Northern with the AC guys that want to train on there a lot of them come here but you know WCAP with its own kind of element uh, at Fort Carson with the world-class athlete program really kind of creating a, a camp scenario Minnesota with their guys, so and even now Yvonne, with what he's starting out in Boise, do you think that's really going to help out as well? Well, I think so. Um, Obviously, we went know. from basically we went from two training centers because the Army basically trains mostly with the OTC, you know, guys here. 
And having Boise as another center, I think, is just going to help us get better. Yvonne's a great coach. Well, he really helped take that program off, in which uh, Gordy Morgan had really helped build up there. Once the U.S. the USOC goes, all right, we're going to have a college uh, training center out there, and a very unique program for women's freestyle and Greco-Roman. I think it's it's something I think a lot of people should take advantage of. You know, if if there was ever a men's freestyle type of college scenario, I think you got you can get that here with UCCS and the training center, but. Another quick takedown by Sakawa. Yeah, but that, that's a good point I'd like to mention. is uh, I, I don't know if everybody out there knows that if you're a good Greco-Roman wrestler in high school, you can get a full scholarship to go and train in our US OEC program in Marquette, Michigan with professional coaches. <laughs> the location, the, and, and Steve, the location might be the only drawback. <laughs> Well, well, you got, if you're you from, Minis- so you if like you're from Minnesota, you're, you're fine. Yeah, you're used to the it. summers there are beautiful, though. Oh, they are. Oh, yeah. Marquette's That's one thing I did great. love about the upper Midwest, man. It's, it's When it was summer, it was summer. Yeah, it's a great place, actually. I love it. I love it up there. So Stenberg going to uh, have his match with Saikawa end rather abruptly here in the second period. Now we're going to have a fun kid coming up next. <laughs> 